Hi guys, welcome back. Now we'll talk about some basic administration tasks that you can perform in your environment. Okay, so I already show to you the okay the wish list command. You can list all the servers which are in view in your network, but this command show you only the running command. Okay, the running server. If you want to see the running and the shutdown or paused your server, you have to add dash dash all okay and by this way you will see all the server with uh, within your environment and uh, other another things if you want to shut down your your server you have uh, two way you can hit the command wish destroy this is a direct shutdown in your server this one this command directly shut down your your server okay but we have another com command also, which is uh, pretty uh, shut. Okay. Okay. This command also perform a graceful okay shutdown to your server. Okay. This is like you un unplug the cable from your server, but this one it is a normal shutdown. So all the application will be uh, shut down first, and at uh, the second time the operating system will be shut down with through this command. Okay, it's a graceful uh, shutdown. Next step, as I told you, if I have performed the command, the simple command, wish list, I will not see any uh, server in my environment. But, but if you add the argument dash dash all, okay, I can see that we have we have one server that has been shut off. Okay, so I can start it through the command fish start. Okay, wish starter and the host name right now. Okay. And uh, another thing, so is uh, if you want to get the different uh, uh, IP address assigned to this node, I can say which uh, domain if uh, there you know already this command. I can I can view this IP address right now. Okay. And the other thing, so to do is uh, if I want to know all the the i can see the disk uh, that has been assigned to this node the block size okay i can do the command which domain okay block list for instance i want to see the different disk size that has been assigned to this node okay it is right regarding the block size or assigned to this node other things so to do regarding the if I want to rename or in the uh, in that uh, my uh, server, I can ha I think I can change the name okay for this command wish okay okay domain rename and uh, the host name to the new name for example server in Ubuntu okay zero one for for instance. Uh, yeah, we have to get to shut down first of the node. Okay, I will wish. Uh, just I yeah, will go with destroy. Yeah. First, I have to shut down first the node before able to be uh, rename it. Okay, so now the, the node has been successfully renamed. Um, list. Okay, so now I have my new server right now. Oh, 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 sorry. Okay, so now the server has been. Uh, if I go back to the, my uh, networks, okay, version net list. I want to list all the IP addresses I sign up, uh, by this switch. For instance, we have already see, uh, seen this uh, DSCP, uh, DSCP uh, leases. Okay, and uh, the host name, uh, the Victor network name. Okay, I can see that of this uh, as prior time so of IP address is sign -off. It's the protocol is IPv4. Okay, and the IP address is sign to my. Uh, uh, to this node, okay, to my node, to this node, for instance, uh, it is this one, the IP, my first IP server, my, my first server, okay, 
and uh, I can uh, as a dido wish net uh, wish uh, domain if the dr and uh, the host name I have uh, IP address. I can list also all the uh, network interface so assigned to this node. Okay, this uh, if list for instance. I will see if this only this uh, and one network interface are assigned to it. Okay. Other things to do is to go to the IPA. You can see that. Okay. Here, if you remark a new IP uh, interface, uh, a new interface uh, appear here. You can remark that. Uh, let me let me see. Yeah. Okay, the VNet zero appear here. Okay, this one is just if you remember VNet zero. Okay, it is the interface of this uh, net this uh, virtual machine because uh, it hasn't bridge uh, it hasn't pl plugged uh, plugged on a bridge. Okay, it's because that uh, my node, my physical node, this one. Okay is able to uh, to go directly to this uh, to this uh, server okay from the from here okay i can directly go to this uh, server ssh i we, we already done that ssh uh, yeah here okay but i think that very bit thing that has been signed yeah uh, okay yeah so as you can see okay from there i can ssh on it or directly and be connected on it okay great and uh, we are okay you remain rename your server you can you can shut down okay uh, shut down you are already done that if you want to remove okay or destroy a, a if you want to remove a virtual machine it's possible okay we have just to hit the command wish Okay, destroy first. Before to remove a virtual machine, though, we have to destroy it first. Okay, destroy. Destroy. We have to shut down it. Okay, we just first shut down the node. Okay, when the node has been uh, shut down, we can uh, perform the action of uh, undefined. If I, I do this one, okay, undefined, the server will, will go on. Okay, it will go on from my environment. Okay. And uh, if if I uh, in plaster of uh, go on, you want to remove all the uh, block size. Okay, it's possible to do it. But on the next lecture, we will clone. We will show you how you can clone a virtual machine, and from there, I will show you how you can directly erase a virtual machine from your site. Because right now, right now, I have only one virtual server, so I, I, want, I don't I don't want to right now to erase it. Okay, but uh, on the on the next next lecture. I will show you how you can uh, directly uh, I will erase uh, a virtual machine uh, on the next le lecture. Thank you very much uh, and that all uh, for, for for it. Okay, and I uh, hope to see you on the next lecture. Bye from now.